Tansay and Totemak, Tierra Mustaslapati Nitsi Kasson. I'm really happy to see you today, Mio Gisagao. I'm, I'm sitting next to Slave Lake, actually. This is in Treaty 8 territory, where my family's from. So I feel very humbled today that to know that my ancestors have walked these lands before me. Um, but the reason why I'm sitting here today is because I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about water and the importance of water and why water is so sacred to me, but to First Nations people. And I want you to think more about how you use water how plants use water and how animals use water. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a reading about water and maybe put some questions up after for you to reflect on. Thank you, Ninaskamon. Nokomis love Nippy and Nippy love Nokomis. Rain or shine, hot or cold, calm or wild. Every morning, like the women in her family before her, Nokomis hopped out of bed and before doing anything else, she said, Nanaskamon Nipi, for the life you give to every living thing on earth. Kisagi Heaton, I respect you. But one day, a wise Okimao told her, In my lifetime, the day will come when an ounce of water costs more than an ounce of gold. What are you going to do about it? Like an arrow, his words pierced Nokumis's heart. She looked around. She saw how people were disrespecting the water, wasting it, making it unfit for life. Day turned to night, night turned to weeks, and Nokomis remembered the Okimao's words. A few moons went by, and then one night, Nokomis had a dream. Early next morning, Nokomis called her sister and a squeo nito to mak over for tea to talk about their responsibility to protect Nipi. Four days later, Nokomis and the Mother Earth Water Walkers, as they came to be known, found themselves standing on the side of the road, wearing sneakers. Nokomis carried a copper pail full of Nipi in one hand and a Mikzu staff in the other. If no one noticed Nipi, maybe they would notice the Water Walkers. Maybe someone would ask why they carried Nipi in the water pail. Maybe someone would be moved to protect Nipi too. Nokomis and the Mother Earth water walkers walked all around the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence River. They walked every spring for seven years. They prayed and sang to Nipi. They left tobacco in every lake, river, stream, and puddle they met. They got up before the birds and went to bed when Nokomis rose. Nokomis was interviewed on television, in newspapers, and on radio. She was even in movies. But big companies, politicians, and even her next-door neighbors still did not feel the urgency to, to protect Nipi. What more can I do? wondered Nokomis. One year later, over by the Atlantic Ocean, a friend of Nokomis had a dream. And she shared it with Nokomis as soon as she woke up. Nokoma shared the dream with all the people she had met during her walks. Word spread fast across Turtle Island, and everyone began to prepare. Next thing you know, there were a squawk standing at each salt nippy around Turtle Island, with a copper pail in one hand and a mixu staff in the other, wearing sneakers. In the west, Nokoma and the Mother Earth water walkers set off from the Pacific Ocean saying they will do it for the water. One year after a devastating oil spill, Nokomis and the water walker set off from the Gulf of Mexico singing to Nipi and praying for the healing of Nipi. They said, water, we love you, we thank you, we respect you. Next, Nokomis and the water walker set off from the Atlantic Ocean in the east. At the send off, they walked barefoot on the rocks and the beautiful petroglyphs and sang to Nipi. 
Putting on their sneakers, they started out on the migration trail their ancestors traveled hundreds of years before. In the frigid north, the ice was five feet thick. Nokomis and the Mother Earth water walkers put tobacco on the frozen nippi, singing their thanks, respect, and love. Salt water tears filled the Mother Earth water walkers' eyes as the four salt nippi met Lake Superior. One day, the four salt nippi will be reborn as clouds and be carried home on the wind, said Nokomis. Nokomis went through three knees and 11 pairs of sneakers walking for Nippi. She got her knees replaced and is at home resting up, taking the time to surf online for new sneakers. Every morning, she puts down her tobacco for Nippi and sings her gratitude. She prays people wake up and realize that without Nippi, there is no life, and she continues to wonder, what are you going to do about it?